If you're like me, you've probably heard a lot in the news lately about AI art, but you may not know exactly how to go about making your own. In this video, I'll be going through Playground AI and the different tools they have to let you generate AI art for any variety of purpose. Um, so as you go to the default homepage for PlaygroundAI.com, here you'll see a bunch of different images of art generated by AI based on different prompts and choices made by the users to design something. Now you can look through here if you want to get some ideas for what exactly you're looking for. Um, there's many different you know feelings that you can get from these. Some of them are very goofy, some of them are very serious or yeah, melancholic. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's weird <laughs> hybrid ones as well. Um, but you can you can go to the create tab once you have an idea for what you want to do. So here's where the majority of it is done. So here you can type in the prompt that you want to see and you can see it says exactly like, oh, you can type, oh, underwater world in a glass bowl. And then here you can add a filter. Now this changes the general theme or feeling behind the image. So if you wanted something that's very, I don't know, clockwork, like you can do delicate detail, or if you wanted something that's cyberpunky, you could do neon mecha. If you wanted something that feels like a sci-fi movie, Spielberg works great. So you can choose anything off of those. If you have a specific image that you're looking to make something very similar to, here you can add an image from your files and see if there's you know anything that it can generate based off of that you can also if you you know keep on getting images that aren't showing up quite how you want to you can remove specific things like let's say here let's just copy this so we'll do tiny underwater city in a glass bowl so now here we can generate this let's say mm, I'm not a big fan of this sand. Let me just get rid of the sand. We'll see how this looks now. There we go. That's more like what I was looking for. Now it's just a glass bowl. No background on it. It looks great. Might not be exactly what I'm specifically going to use, but you can keep on trying making different changes. You can change the dimensions, although some of the higher dimension things will require a paid plan. But if that's something you're willing to do, it might be a good idea. Anyway, that was just a quick tutorial on how to use Playground AI. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.